Even though QuickDesk has been designed to be very simple yet powerful, there is a lot of power that may not be readily apparent. In this video, we'll dive into the user interface and how to get the most out of the software. Over in the upper left hand corner, you'll notice eight buttons or eight icons here. These control how the images appear on screen. First up is this full screen or single image view button. If we click that, we see the selected image in a larger format so that we can go in and make tweaks to that image and see more detail as we do so. Second up is before and after. So we get a side by side view of the image before corrections have been added to it and after. Next up is the six up view. The six up view is useful as we step through and correct many, many images at the same time. Next, we have our side by side before and after view. So on the left side, you can see the image before any perfectly clear corrections have been added. And on the right side, after the corrections have been added to the image. Then if we go back into six up view, you'll notice this button here. This is our zoom lock button. If we click that and turn that on, when we zoom on an image, they all zoom together. And next to the zoom lock button is the fill button. If we want our images to fill the frame, we click that and they will fill the frame. Next up is our highlight and shadow clipping indicator. So we can toggle that on and off. And if you look at this image down here, let's go into single image view. If you look at this image down here, you can see the clipped highlight areas are indicated by these red highlights. And if we turn that off, they go away. So just a good way to see what is being clipped in your image as you step through it. And lastly, if you notice down here, we have our quick correct settings or controls at the bottom of this image. If you'd like these controls to show on all your images simultaneously, you can toggle that on by clicking this button. Now you can quickly and easily jump to those controls without having to select that image. Now let's move to the bottom of the user interface. First up, you see that we, if we select an image, you can see the file name of the, the selected image right here on the left. If we move over to the right, we see that we are working on image number eight of 29 images in this job. We can use these left and right arrows to step through these images or to load the next six images. The interesting thing and the differences between you operating this way versus using the save and next page selection at the top is when you use save and next page, the images are processed and moved into the output folder versus your corrections are not saved as you step through the image sets here. And you have the opportunity to go back and make additional edits or changes to this image set. If you happen to be in single image mode like this, clicking the left and right buttons will skip one image at a time. If you want to get a view of all the images in this set, you can open this bottom panel by hitting this arrow. And now you can scroll through all of the images in the set and make random corrections to each one of these images as you step through the set.